Hello everyone, welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today we have some breaking news regarding a potential hotel at Universal Studios Hollywood. I came home and I was looking at permits relating to Pat, Fat, the Fast and Furious Coaster Project 409, which new permits were filed for that as well for a retaining wall as well as some foundations which was also very exciting. But just above that, today, three permits were filed and way to a project called P515 and I was like, what is P515? Luckily when I slid over to the right in the work description, it said P515, 11 story hotel and a building permit number. But yes, an 11 story hotel. And it was in the plot that is in the back lot, encompasses the back lot, but also goes all the way kind of to the right of the ET parking structure, kind of where Fast and Furious is. It may encompass the Curious George parking lot. It's kind of like that east side of the NBC Universal lot. And I was like, oh my gosh, wait, it's the hotel for you know, Universal, like Hollywood. Because, you no, know, the Sheraton and Hilton, maybe the Sheraton, but definitely the Hilton is filing for an expansion for its hotel property. But that's on the complete opposite side of the property. And they have their own parcels. And I looked at their own parcels and they have nothing there. Also, the Hilton's new tower is going to be, from, according to the EIR, Environmental Impact Report, 17 stories, not 11 stories. And this is on the other side. So we can only guess, based on permits and the NBC Universal site plan, or NBC universal evolution plan that this hotel is one of the two approved hotels for universal studios hollywood according to the nbc universal evolution plan that was approved in 2014 the site pl the plan includes two 500 room hotels and two locations one in this particular location by you know the kind of the carry storage lot area et parking garage area over there another by the globe now there's renderings or concept art you know of, or, of what could go what a hotel can go by the entrance to the globe as well as the um type of hotel that can go in the back lot area the hotel by the entrance is kind of like a kind of think of like universal beijing doesn't really have a pool it's kind of like a more i guess more urban type hotel right it's kind of front gate the one where this spot is going this 11 story hotel where this permit is found is more of a resort type of building aventura type of field it's very resorty has a big pool are approved on the property for two 500 room hotels according to that evolution plan that doesn't mean that this hotel will be 500 rooms but it has the capacity to be 500 rooms um if if it is built here and if it is 11 stories and if it is 500 rooms so think that think it won't be more than 500 rooms it looks like it'll be 11 stories I have no idea, or we have no idea what it's going to look like, what it's going to be called. We can take guesses, we can take, we can make inferences, right, based on other hotels like, you know, Aventura, Cabana Bay. Maybe it'll look something like that, right? Are those around, those seem around like maybe 11 or so stories, so maybe we'll take that shape, or that, maybe not the name, but maybe that shape, that feel, that resort feel. Um, and we can say, again, it'll be a maximum of 500 rooms because that's what they are approved for. But that's about all we know about this proposed potential hotel for this uh, resort right now. Universal is really ramping up on construction projects as they're fin they finished up with Super Nintendo World. Of course, waiting for the Fast and Furious Coaster, which more again demo permits from files and permits and file for foundations and um, retaining walls. So very, very curious. I'll be looking at Intamin side to see if we get some coaster tracks shipping soon. But that, it's probably way too early for that. But you no, know, just in case. We got the plaza just redone, you know, uh, lots of rumors swirling about what can come next and maybe now a potential hotel. That'd be a lot of construction going on around the park and leading up to the Olympics, which are only five years away, which is very exciting. Of course, Universal Studios Hollywood will be the host, like a, a center stage in the Olympics as NBC is the host network for the Olympics and they'll expect a lot of Olympic coverage on the park and property as well. So what do you guys think of this? Um, hotel potential hotel coming to the park I know many of you think it's a long time coming I think it long long time coming as well should have been built like 85 years ago but um, better late than never right it's gonna be great uh, they can sell HHN packages right day and night combo packages people can s spend multiple days at the park right say you want to spend super do most of your day at Super Nintendo World go home to your hotel then do the rest of the park and do something like that um, 
Universal, of course, is using losing a lot of money. I'd imagine the Sheraton and Hilton because I see a lot of people staying there and just walking or taking shuttle to the park. But you know, now they can be staying at a Universal branded hotel, which would be amazing. So, what do you guys think about this great breaking news development? Cannot wait to watch the construction of this. Um, if it starts this year, then it can open by 2025, 2026, which would be quite nice. Which I have heard um, previously from. As far as the hotel, a hotel was supposed to open by 2026, so that's what could be happening here. So we'll be watching this very, very closely. What hotel do you think this should be inspired by? Like what existing universal hotel, like Aventura, Cabana Bay, the Hard Rock Hotel? What's your favorite Universal Orlando hotel or Universal hotel that's international? Um, that you'd take inspiration for that from for this hotel. Are you excited for this hotel? Will you be staying here? Even if you're local, I'll be staying there for sure. I live only 25 minutes away, but, you know, it's nice to have a little staycation at a brand new hotel, your favorite, one of your favorite theme park properties, right? Especially, if, again, if you're going to Halloween Horror Nights, um, and it's like at 2 in the morning, you just walk back to your room instead of driving home. Much, much easier. So, what do you guys think about this awesome development? Like, for more, uh, like this video, so you, so you support for theme park wizards, subscribe. For more updates on this project and construction progress on this project as well as others across Universal and other theme parks. And as always, have a super day.